My mom came to me and she said that the Independent Production Fund was looking for web series and did I have any ideas that I thought might be interesting. Um, and so I thought about that period of my life and I thought that it might make an interesting series and the character arcs would be interesting for a serialized drama. Um, and I also had these friends who I thought were really talented and amazing and I wanted an opportunity to work with them because you don't actually get that opportunity to work together as often as you want to. So that's why I wanted to make it, to collaborate with people that I admired. A lot of the information for both, I, I won't speak for you, but for Carson was already in the writing. And so what Katie brought to the writing, there was a part of me that I already knew in myself that could approach it in the way that I thought that Carson was. Just the, the voice of reason, you know, in the blunt kind of aggressive way mm -hmm. that's in me. Um, so I, I think honestly I, I brought just a part of myself. I don't, there wasn't too much thought into how or what, you know, I think it was more just like, yeah, we're these characters, but it's also us. I feel like there are parts of parts of my personality and parts of your personality that are just like super heightened yeah, in well, Lucy and Carson. Yeah. You know? Because I don't really think you're like Carson at no, all. No, but no, then no, I'm like, no, oh, no. but there's a side of Tommy. Yeah. That could go up there. That, yeah. And same with, with Lucy's very kind of more straight edge, very Yeah, and like a little like neurotic and Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also had interchangeable boy for girl names and yes. L names. Yeah, there yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah. There's that. There's that too. <laughs> but also I think at the core, like these girls and, and Michael are really wonderful actors and so there there was things in the writing that made the characters a certain way, but they brought so much to the roles and made them fuller than I like thought was possible and that was a real surprise in the edit. Um, and the chemistry that these two created and had was simply because they're so talented and that's but, the truth. But that was one of the funnest that was one of the that's best ex parts of this experience, that that chemistry was not forced. No, it, it didn't was, feel like it was for the work. Yeah. It was so natural. Yeah. It was really it was fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was fun because like you guys were there every day. I wasn't there every day. And you two beforehand didn't know each other all that well. No. And it was so great. Yeah. Like We'd known each other for a long time, but around. had never really spent time together. Yeah. Like friendship-wise. No. And then And then coming on to set and seeing the threesome that had formed <laughs> Like, because Katie's producing and doing a lot of stuff that there was stuff that it was just the two of you or you two would just be hanging out. I was like, oh, here's like new little besties right there. <laughs> yeah. Adorable. We'd all hang out on Katie's back porch and Mike would show up and he'd be like, hey, and like we're about to shoot her. And we'd just be like, gabbing away. Yeah. Like, it just felt like summer camp. It just fit, felt easy, didn't it? Yeah, it was it kind did. of set you wanted to stop by even when you weren't shooting that. Oh, totally. yeah. Just like check yeah. in what everyone was doing yeah, and how yeah. the scenes were going and watch like what's being made. Yeah. It's cool. It's Well, um, well, 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 um, I would, you know, it's nice for, um, myself and Adam Butcher because we get to have characters that are a bit more fleshed out. Um, and because you know, I think there's, I think there's a lot of d bags in the show. Um, but at least with ours, you get to understand where they're coming from a bit. Uh, we were talking about this earlier, and that I think, you know, I'm. Not, I think that Dave can be a bit of a jerk, but I, if anybody understands unrequited love as a guy, got <laughs> it in guy. spades. Uh, no, it's it's interesting because we've known each other since we were so young and we were kids. Um, Who, and you and Adam? No, no, uh, Katie, Katie and I. Yeah. Uh, and Adam and all the, all the old guard uh, of Toronto child actors. Um, but, uh, no, and then, you know, that felt so much coming out of high school and young adult of of those girls you loved who told you, like, oh, it's just not the right time, and, and kept, like, you know, being like, no, 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 I, I like you too, it's just not now. And so it felt very honest and true that that exists. Um, and it was great, and it's, it's really fun to be on a on a female-driven show, I think, because it's rare to have strong female characters that 
uh, you can look up to or believe in where they're not just, and there's a lot of talking about boys in this, but it has a lot of girl power and doing this and then doing bomb girls at the same time, I'm getting pretty used to. Uh, I think that there's tons of girl power out there. Hmm? I think that there's tons of girl power out there. I think there is tons of girl power out there, but there's not a ton of shows that are specifically driven for girl power. It's usually supporting men or it's a handful of really unlikable girls. Um, and so I think it's really cool that way. It must have been interesting for you two being a lead on a series that was like very much about a boy and you to be now in like a female driven show. Mm. Must be like a nice change of energy, I guess. Yeah, you know, it's great, it's awesome. And there's no it. pressure. <laughs> yeah, because it's not, yeah. I just show up and tell you I love and you look and cute. rock yeah. up. <laughs>, like, I think everyone from the outside is like, whoa, crazy, but to me it just seems like 100% normal because my mom and I talk about work and collaborate a fair amount, especially now that I'm getting older, I feel like I bring something to the table too as far as creative collaboration goes. Um, I mean, I said this in like a lot of interviews, she did not direct the sex scenes because I just felt like that would be inappropriate for the guys. I felt <laughs> really bad for them about that because that would be weird. But um, it didn't feel weird to share like an intimate, this intimate part of my life with her or to talk about it. She was there for it. She was there for it and yeah. we talked and, about yeah, it as it was happening. Say, you tell her, you I tell such her an open relationship anyway. Pretty much everything. So it didn't feel so weird that she was directing it. Also, I think she did like an amazing job and I don't think anyone else would have done as good a job as she did. And she was so fast and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I feel like we were really lucky that she agreed to do it. And I feel like we all felt like we had a mom sort of watching over us during the whole experience, you know? Well, and the closeness you guys have, but Gail is also an artist person, has always been yeah, yeah. an artist, but comes from being she's a, a photographer. Yeah, that That's what she's artists do. They take what's going on in their personal lives and make their whatever out of it. And so if you become a mother, then that's what's happening in your life. And then that's kind of turning that into... Uh, the one like thing like, she can't oh, do. Oh, you do so much different stuff. But like, I've been an actress for like 15 years, and at some point, I'm I, like, I'm in a different place with it than a lot of people are who are my age, right? Because I've been doing it for so long and I feel there's certain limitations and it doesn't feel, sometimes I'm like, okay, is this gonna be it? Like, I'm, is my whole life gonna be waiting for someone else to hire me? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's true. why I had to, you know, it's smart. I, ha I had to diversify and try to do other stuff. Also, like, my dad is a writer and so there was always like a lot of talk about writing and stuff and it didn't feel, it doesn't feel like I do two different things or different things. Like to me, I use the same part of my brain when I'm acting and writing. It feels all a part of one thing. So, I, yeah, a lot of people are like, "Wow, you do like a lot of different stuff." But to me, I feel like I don't. I feel like I'm. There's a lot of damn time when you're an actress. So it's not. Michael also writes and is like a very accomplished writer in his own right and has had films optioned by like very famous people to be made. So I think he can relate yeah. that it doesn't feel that crazy to do no it feels like all part of the same job it's just everybody else says well those are four different jobs you're like no this is my job yeah my job is doing all these things and it's yeah. just like some I was gonna try and like compare it to somebody who works in like an office but then I don't know how to do that because yeah. I don't know anything we, about working in an office but yeah. like you have different duties when you have a job and these are the different duties within your job yeah. and you I think it's not to you, you know but that's not to discredit what writers do or what directors do no. or I just think yeah. that it, but you know, I when agree, you it's have all the same. Down time, it's just trying to find different ways to use your creativity. I think that a lot of, I don't know, I'm just like solely say actors, but I think that a lot of artists wait for the art to come to them or for, you know, rather than going for it. I think that's like the one of the things that impedes a lot of actors is like waiting around. Yeah. And then complaining about it and being unhappy and therefore miserable, you know, rather than just like going out and understand. It's cliche, but like the world is your oyster. And like, that's and something we're that Katie's so, done so beautifully. We're so lucky to live in a time where you can make this stuff accessible. Like yes. you can create something and yeah. have it be seen, whether it be like a YouTube video or my yeah. God, I've seen some incredible... Porn. Vi <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. No, really into I've art seen, porn lately. I've yeah. seen Let's some really some. amazingly artistic vines, vines yeah. that yeah. are six seconds long. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like, we're incredibly lucky to live in a time where, you know. I'm pretty tired of Vine already, though. But, yeah. No, it would not have been possible <laughs> trying to make to a point. This even five God years damn it. ago. As far as like the technology has progressed and, and the web series are even a thing that people are somewhat aware of now. Um, so yeah, for me anyways, like a key to being sane is to try to mix my own work. I'm gonna let them take this yeah. one. Really? I, I, I noticed sex. her, she's like looking at you. Well, <laughs> no, honestly, my, it's so rare that I've been a part of something that my friends see and love. Yeah, oh, and really? every oh, single cool. I, I oh, texted cool. you this like yeah, the, the day after crazy. the first episode came out. I had so many of my girlfriends texting me and emailing me, being like, "So this is us. This is mm -hmm. us three mm -hmm. years ago. This is us now. Yeah. This is us probably in five years." It's definitely but identifiable. Uh, most of my friends have said, "I wish it wasn't shortened. I wish the yeah. long story wasn't shortened. Yeah, right. I wish it was the long story." <laughs> That's cool. That's yeah. Really cool to hear. yeah, yeah. And I mean, when when you have grown up on TV and your friends have seen your stuff yeah. forever, it actually does mean a lot when your friends are like, I actually like this one. Because your yeah, friends are more than happy to tell me like, eh, yeah, it's fine. Your friends no, but like, you know, they, they're always stuff. supportive and they'll, you know, they'll yeah. see whatever I'm doing, but you can tell. You can tell when your friends are like, yeah, that was great. And when they're like, no, I love this. I can't wait to see the next episode. And I think that says a lot. I just think it's totally, well, still fun to watch and it's funny and it's interesting and it's and it feels fresh. It is totally honest and real. Like, it does. It feels. It feels like a, one of those. We called it. We had one called the Summer of Love, and it was just that same tumultuous things going out of control and kind of losing it and being the best and the worst ever. And that's that's what it is. And now that it's September and you're back to school and you're missing summer, why not go back, watch Long Story Short on Podcast <laughs> yeah, TV, great and relive the summer. Ding. Yeah, great Sal. And I feel like I was so like like I have I got the rising stars in this country to be in this thing that I created. It's crazy lucky. to me. Yeah, but like, on, on really that same lucky. note, it's not very difficult to want to say yes to somebody that's just exactly forging this whole new beautiful path for young that's actors. Sweet. That's, sweet. that's sweet, but I feel like the coolest thing was to like that's see sweet. my words yeah. or whatever, like my own <laughs> stupid life experiences with these like amazing people who I like admired and respected and like would see in audition rooms and be like, fuck, like, they're so good. <laughs> and now like they're doing something I made, you know, it's crazy to me.